back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. Technically it's a month in review type thing. It's not necessarily favorites per se. Um, but I am nevertheless really excited to talk about a lot of these things. So yeah, before I get into that I want to go ahead and mention my her. Um, this is a wig that I just did a review on and it is the Best Lace Wigs Kinky Straight texture um this is jenny we named her jenny my husband was like you look like beauty by jj and i was like okay so he calls this one jj um he calls my blonde hair monica i don't, I don't know who monica is and why he calls me monica i have a review on jenny in the description box um if you guys want to check it out i'll also link it in the little card section you guys never check that i know y'all don't but if you do it's up there also my shirt if you guys haven't heard i have a shirt and I am selling it so be sure to check that out also link will be in the description box for that they should be shipping out Monday let's go ahead and get into these favorites I'm gonna start off with my beauty favorites of course because I am a beauty blogger so I am required to talk about beauty stuff right Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and this is what it looks like this is a really great moisturizer. I know that I talked about the Philosophy moisturizer and I'm still using that. I did want to get this though because I've been hearing everybody talk about it, how great it is. Um, and so, and I, the packaging is pretty. I don't have dry skin, but I've noticed that the more moisturized my skin is, the better my makeup goes on and the least, the, the less amount of oil is produced on my face throughout the day. So my face doesn't feel like it has to overwork during the day to fight dryness because it's not dry. Um, before I prime my skin, I make sure it's moisturized. So I use this before I do my makeup and I feel like this is the perfect moisturizer for that because it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't make your skin slick or greasy at all. It like literally soaks into your skin and you can't feel it. Like your skin just feels normal afterwards. Like you don't feel like you just put moisturizer on if that makes sense because it's a water-based consistency. Like it's really, it's almost watery so it doesn't have like a silicone texture it doesn't have like um like a creamy it's not creamy it's not any of that it's just like water it's like putting water on your face and i love the smell of it because it smells so clean and fresh if you have oily skin or even if you have regular skin any type of skin i feel like can use this there is a more hydrating version that is for drier skin types this one's for normal to oily um, skin and the other one is I think for dry skin combination whatever I've heard people talk about both of them and say that both of them are great um, so if you wanted to try both of them go ahead I got this one it's $17 I got it from Target I do not know why I think it's because my hair is not braided underneath so I apologize if my part's not on fleek <laughs> it was working earlier and then it just decided to stop it doesn't want to do what I say hold on guys let me fix it I try to be cute for y'all. It just doesn't work out when I want it to. I have this Scent Bird. Scent Bird. Scent Bird. I know you guys have probably heard about it, but it's a, basically a subscription service where they send you a 30 day supply of any fragrance that you want. So I think this is a really cool innovation just because how many bottles of perfume do you actually use? Uh, every single perfume that I've ever tried in life I still have the bottle and it still has some in it because I never use all of it so I thought that this would be a great thing to show you guys who don't really dig buying perfumes like that you just like to try new stuff if you're like me and you like expensive things but you don't want to spend the price for the expensive things there you go you can also customize your profile to where they send you things that will go with what you like so you pick out the different kinds of undertones and notes and whatever the whatever the technical terms for perfumes are it'll tell you what perfumes fit you best based on your scent preferences put it in your purse you can put it in your travel makeup bag whatever you use um you can just have this on hand i leave it sitting up on my vanity because i like to wear this every day it's 15 dollars a month but for 15 dollars, you get a 30-day supply which is a lot bigger than most roller balls or trial sizes of perfumes you know they give you the little samples and stuff this is way bigger than that it's gonna last you a while i actually have been using it almost every day and I haven't even used that much of it you keep this packaging and when you get a new one they send you this and you just pop it in there and that's your little fragrance thing 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, you can pick any desired designer fragrance that you want. You guys can check the description box for more information about Scentbird and for the link if you wanted to do a subscription. I got Violet Blonde by Tom Ford. It smells amazing. I think this is probably my favorite Tom Ford fragrance right now. Um, I love Tom Ford fragrances. I just don't own any because they're expensive. I wore this last week and I put it on in the morning. Like later that night, a guy walked past me and he was like, oh my God, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? And I got in the car. My mother in love was like, oh my gosh, you smell like cookies. Like it was like, this doesn't smell like cookies, but I mean, as long as I smell good girl this is cover effects blemish treatment primer it's actually more of like a skincare item than a primer because it reminds me a lot of like the clean and clear um acne spot treatment Ooh, that's a bubble it's like a clear consistency and you just like rub it in um wherever you have acne not scars but like acne like active pimples that need to be covered before you put your makeup on so it doesn't like infect it and make it even more dirty. Um, I even use this underneath other primers because it's really thin. It's just a clear coat that you can put on top of your pimples to keep them from getting worse. I've really been liking this. This was $20, $22, I think, $21, $22 at Sephora. Cover Effects is amazing. I've already talked about Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops and the Mattifying Primer, um, but this is just another one to go in my arsenal. Another primer that I got, I actually got two primers, and I'm gonna be talking about them, but I do want to tell you which one is my favorite. And then if you guys want me to do like a more extensive review on primers and which ones work for what, I can do that for you. This one is the Makeup Forever Step One Primer, and this is the mattifying one. I'll take it out of the box, but I'm taking this back, so just gonna throw that out there already. This is what it looks like. It's the step one mattifying primer. Becca Evermatte Poreless Perfecting Primer Perfector Primer. And they're both around the same price. I think this one's 32 and this one's 36, or this one's 32 and this one's 36. I don't know. Either way, they're both expensive and they both do the same thing. I was gonna see which one I liked better, but honestly, they're literally the exact same product like i think they have the exact same formula the becca primer has water magnesium aluminum silicate silicate glycol phenols well bootleyan i can't read any of these words this one has a few more ingredients in it than this one does this one's a little less ingredient e um, they both have the exact same consistency. They both come out like a kind of whitish cream color. Um, and they're both really, 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 really mattifying. It keeps me matte for pretty much the entire day. If I do have to retouch, it looks just as good as it did when I first put the makeup on. I just, you know, use a tissue or something to blot the oil out. I think on the back of this one, it says that you can apply it after putting on your makeup too. Like later in the day, you can reuse it again on top of your makeup. You're really just supposed to use it in your T-zone area. I feel like these are probably the best mattifying primers I've ever used. They work like crazy. They work super good. Only complaint is that you can't put too much on, number one, and you can't like move it around. You have to pat it in. You can't rub it because if you rub it, it'll like clump up and it'll start like peeling off of your face so you don't want to do that and you want to make sure your, your skin is like exfoliated really good because if you have dead skin and you move it around it'll catch the dead skin it's a heavy duty primer to work with but it does the job and it works for what it needs to do i like that about it so i'm keeping the becca one and i'm taking this one back because they are the exact same thing so i'm going to exchange this for something else i think i'm going to go get the makeup forever bronzer i don't know we'll see not that it's worse than the other or anything like that they're the exact same i just wanted to keep this one because i don't have anything becca so i wanted something becca <laughs> the next product that i want to talk about has been my all-time makeup favorite for this month the mary lou luminizer and this is a highlighter by the balm cosmetics and the balm is the bomb. After using the Nude Dude eyeshadow in Fit that I got from my Ipsy Glam bag, I really wanted to try the Mary Luminizer because everybody's been talking about it and saying how amazing it was and I've seen so many people on Instagram using it and their highlight looks like a unicorn sneezed on them or something. It says that it can be used as a highlighter, shimmer, eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. It comes with a mirror on it and it is an amazing luminizer like look at that it is so pigmented 
my goodness it is gorgeous i love to put it like in the corner in the corner of my eye and on my nose and on my cheekbones of course it just it's magic it it's so velvety and buttery the littlest bit goes a long way and you like don't even have to put a lot on like it's just amazing i love you i love this I got this from Kohl's. The balm is only sold online and like at Kohl's, I think. I don't think they sell it anywhere else. And they have it for $24, I believe. So it is a little pricey, but like I said, a little bit goes a long way. This probably lasts you forever, so yeah. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, I've only had for a couple days, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because right off the bat, I really, really liked it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And it is in the color Classic Tan. That is the color that I am wearing today. And I really love this foundation. I feel like it's one of the best mattifying foundations I've ever used. It's medium coverage, but you can build it to really full coverage. I feel like it's really full coverage. Um, and it lasts all day, all day, all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't settle into my laugh lines and stuff really easy. So it's, it's a dim, demi matte finish, but it to me it's a fully matte. It's like $11 I think at Target. So that's where I got it from. But I really, really like it. Only thing I don't like about it is there's not a huge shade range. There's two shades darker than mine. So I don't know if that if that's a good shade range for some people, but I didn't really find it easy to find my shade just because they don't have a lot of shades and you can't really tell the color from the bottle like this is really frosty so you can't really tell like what it looks like compared to your skin so picking a shade at the store would probably be a little hard for you if you've never used L'Oreal foundations um, I would go buy the L'Oreal true match colors and see which one fits you the best because those bottles are clear um, you can probably see which one fits you the best in those shades and then compare it to this one So that's why I got classic tan because I knew classic tan works for me, but yeah, don't like the shade range But other than that really good foundation What's next? One of my favorites has definitely been Wata. If you guys know, I'm not a fan of drinking water I only drink water when I feel like I'm doing something cool and drinking Wata makes me feel cool because the bottle is just so cute and I like that these waters come in different like formulas. This one is the pH one, so it's supposed to help balance your pH. It's alkaline spring water, which I heard is great for your skin. And I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is kind of clear. I don't know. And it's purple, so it matches my face today. I don't know. I've just really been really loving this brand of water. Is that weird that I like a brand of water? Another grocery favorite of mine. I've really been eating Cheez-Its a lot. I've been eating a lot of Cheez-Its. In my last favorites video, I did mention that I was going to talk about, I was gonna talk about my favorite, uh, what? I was gonna talk about my favorite YouTubers each month and tell you guys new YouTubers to follow. First one is Janae Raquel. I, li I really like her videos and I think that she has really great quality. Also, her hair is amazing, so you guys should check her out. Somebody else that I've been watching is, um, her name is Sydney Black and y'all, y'all, Sydney has the prettiest eyes I've ever seen. She is probably the only chocolate girl I've ever seen with naturally blue, like, like, like this color blue eyes. What? It blew me away. I was attracted to the eyes, but her videos are actually really good too. Um, she has really great quality and I really like her videos. So you guys should check her out. She does beauty type videos. Somebody else that I've been watching recently is Latia Hassel. Latia Hassel. Hassel? 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 I don't know how to say her last name, but her name is Latia. She had amazing silver gray hair and I originally watched because her hair was gray, but she is beautiful. Her, like her makeup is always flawless. Like flawless. I don't know if you guys watch her, but if you haven't heard of her, I've been watching her recently and I really love her Instagrams too. So you guys should check her out. I don't have a favorite app for the month. I think the only app, no, I don't have a favorite app of the month. Um, pretty much all my favorite apps are the same. But if you guys wanted to know about some apps that I like, I do have a what's in my iPhone video. So you guys should watch that. A lot of you were also asking me how I edit my pictures and I've already talked about that. Um, but you guys can check that out in the description box. I'll have a link to that video. Also, I wanted to announce that I'm going to be at Generation Beauty this weekend in LA. Me and my YouTube sisters will all be there Saturday and Sunday. So you guys can come hang out and meet us and do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, I hope to meet a lot of you guys there. And if we do 
have a meet and greet we'll guys we'll let you guys know but we haven't come up with anything so i don't know if we'll have a, like a formal meet and greet so yeah i'll be there this weekend so i'm going to be vlogging that and my vlog will be coming soon on that like next week so stay tuned for that also if you guys want to know what i'm wearing i'm wearing um color pop lippy stick in brills on my lips that's the color that i'm wearing um so yeah if you guys have any questions let me know but other than that that is all for this video so i will talk to you guys in my next one all right